This is SEO crawl. I have always had the issue of finding the articles that needed optimization and I've never been able to find a tool that could actually list those articles for me. This is just one of SEO crawl's many features. So let's dive in and test them. SEO is becoming a more broad thing. If we go back maybe just two years, then SEO was all about Google and Bing and search engines in general. And it still is. But now we also see stuff like TikTok, where we talk about SEO in order to rank on TikTok. And I think we will see the same with Instagram. The way SEO crawl work is basically just with Google or with search engines on the web because you need to hook up your Google Analytics and your Google Search Console in order to see any data in there. But I've been using SEO crawl for around a week now and I found all the good things and the bad things because SEO crawl is that type of SEO tool where you've just added a bunch of modules on top without really asking whether it's necessary or not because as mentioned, they only work with Google Search Console. So in theory, you should be able to replace SEO crawl with Google Search Console. You can't completely do that. There are things they have added in SEO crawl, which you don't see in Google Search Console. And then it's just much easier to use SEO crawl, especially as I mentioned before, the opportunities, which I'll also show you. But one of the things they really need to work on is speed. It looks like they're pulling the data live from Google Search Console and in theory also Google Analytics. So you can't avoid some loading time. The solution here is to either load it into their own database or to somehow speed it up running these requests to Google Search Console. So you need to have patience using it, but they are caching the results. So as soon as you have fetched the first results, then it's a very fast product to use. I will not dive into each of the modules, but one of my favorite modules is the inside module. First up, then you have cannibalization. And this is used to help you tell what articles are basically eating from the same pie. And by pie, I mean the search results. So if you have two articles which are overlapping each other for the same keyword, then you need to either unpublish one of the articles and then focus on the first article or you need to pivot one of the articles so they're not fighting against each other for the same position on Google. That is very important and that's why that module is so valuable. Another one of my favorite modules is opportunities. And it's a very basic module, but I haven't seen this before. And what it does is that it pulls all of your URLs, which in theory is all of your pieces of content, into a list and then it shows you clicks next to impressions. And the more impressions you have to a lower click rate means that you need to optimize this article because it's getting shown a lot, but people are not clicking. So either it's your description, your article text in between, or especially your title you need to optimize in order to get more clicks because that's what we want with these articles. And this is without a doubt my favorite module within SEO crawl. The last module is questions and it's still within the insight module. Questions is basically just showing you all the questions asked where your articles were representative on the search result on Google. And I think this is interesting because all the questions where you are not clicked on, this means if someone has searched on a question, your article was shown, but they didn't click on your article. This means that your article was not relevant for this question. But if you read the question and you find it relevant, then you should add this question and an answer to your article so people can start clicking on it. Another great module is visibility. Visibility is basically showing you how visible you are on Google on specific terms and specific search key phrases. But what I am missing in this specific module is a competitor module because normally you would take five or 10 primary keywords or search phrases that you're focused on. And then you would see how visible are you on those compared to your competitor. But right now they don't have a competition module and I can't see that they're working on it in the near future when I look at their roadmap and when I research on the company. And the rest of the modules, in my opinion, are just fluff. Of course you can use them, but it is basically copy and paste from Google Search Console. So in my opinion, those modules I've mentioned now is where the value really lays within SEO crawl. But then to the price, you can get started using SEO crawl for $9. 
And you have to compare that to just using Google Search Console, which is completely free. Would we be able to replace all SEO crawls features by just using Google Search Console? Absolutely not. But the $9 is a very cheap price to get started. And I think for just the inside module, that price is more than worth it. So I would definitely go ahead and sign up for that. But if you're a huge company with more than 100 employees, then SEO crawl is not for you. But the smaller company you are, the more SEO crawl is for you. Now, I couldn't find any official roadmap for 2023 for SEO crawl. But I know based on what I read that they're working on a more advanced SEO monitor and a more elaborate SEO crawl so we'll get more data when we crawl specific URLs. But overall, after testing SEO crawl for one week, I want to give them three and a half stars. They do go beyond Google Search Console, but they also add a lot of modules, which is basically just the same as Google Search Console. But if you want to find easy questions to answer and rank on Google, then watch my latest review of Storybase up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.